good, PB gang? It's your boy Poppy Blasted, aka Rope God, man. And today I'm finna let you guys know, man, what y'all been asking for. You feel me? A lot of y'all have double crowns, you know what I'm saying? Including me. I have double crown too. You know, a lot of y'all saw my beginning journey and all that. Y'all saw, y'all already saw the double crown. If you haven't saw it, you can check it out right here. Yes, I have a double crown. You guys that just tuned in now, y'all see one dominant crown, right? My crown is a beehive, as you know, my pattern 360 way beehive. And my crown is official, yes, but it's not all the way where I want it to be yet. It takes time, beehive, you know, you gotta put in a lot of work for beehive because your breast should against natural hair growth. Y'all didn't know. That's why it's easier to get a swirl. But anyways, man, let's get straight back to the um, topic. So, if you have a double crown, this video right here is gonna help you basically turn it into one dominant crown instead of having two you know what i mean because to have a successful 360 beehive uh crown you have to have just one not two the other one supposed to be gone and just you know choose one crown and stick with that crown so i'm gonna feel i'm gonna let you guys know right now what i did to make my crown look official all right so keep it locked i'm so wavy yes i'm so wavy wavy i'm so wavy yes i'm so wavy all right youtube so basically what you have to do is if you have two crowns all right two crowns and you want to make it one crown you got to choose which crown you want to go with whether if it's the left crown or the right crown you know what i'm saying some of us is born naturally with two crowns some of us just born with one crown some of us was born with uh, two crowns, one going the regular uh, clockwise way, the other going counterclockwise way. See, my dominant crown goes counterclockwise. It grows counterclockwise. My regular, my um, other crown, I should say, that I'm not going with, that grows um, clockwise, clockwise. And how I found that out is because when I scalped a while back, that's when I figured out, man, I have two crowns. I'm screwed, bro. I'm kind of like screwed. You see my second crown right there? I'm going back with my 360, bro, man. I might do 360 with a swirl with a baby smut at the top. What I'm gonna do? I didn't give up, man. I kept pushing. You feel me? Basically, what I did was I figured out, I figured, I had to ask myself, what crown do I want to go with? Okay, first I had to figure out what pattern I want to go with. I knew 360 would be hard. Okay, cool. So I figured out my angles and all that, boom. So now after you figure out your angles, then you wanna like figure out exactly like the crown you wanna go with, you feel me? Which crown will look perfect with, with the pattern I'm going with. So instead of going with my left crown, left, yeah, my left crown, I went with my right crown because um, I feel like my right crown is more of a dominant crown. You know, that crown is more of like the dominant one. I feel like that one right there will look better, better with my pattern. You know what I'm saying? So with you, you got to figure out which one that you want to go with, which pattern you want with, which, uh, how, what, how would it flow better with the dominant crown or the other crown? You know, you can make any one your dominant crown though. You know what I'm saying? So it's all up to you, which one you prefer. You know, I, I prefer my right ones. Okay, so once I found that out, I was like, boom, all right, I got this. I'm about to go with this crown right here on the right. And then from there, you just, you just not really working on your crown at all. You really just brushing your hair. You're trying to get waves first. You know what I'm saying? This is from scratch though. You're trying to get your waves first. You already know, you're trying to get your, um, you're trying to get progress or whatever. You're woofing, you're growing it out. You film your hair long. You're just trying to let them things in. You're just trying to get them in, all right? Once you get past the ripple stage, boom, then you have waves, boom. Okay, once you got waves, then your, your crown is getting longer, then you want to start working on it because you want to start combing it. Once you get to the point where your crown is long enough to comb, that's when you go with that, that dominant crown that you figure out you want to go with. And then figure out the pattern, the, uh, the angles for that crown, beehive. So I went with those angles, the beehive angles. Okay, so once your hair grows, the whole thing is you want to make that other crown not show at all. So what you got to do to make it not show at all is woof it out, okay? So you want to whip your crown out long. So even when you get a haircut, don't cut it at all. Okay, don't cut your crown at all at this point. You want to, this is for the double crowners. You feel me, my double crowners, so, all right? Don't cut it at all, let it grow for a while. You know what I'm saying? Because like I said, 
The whole thing is we want we don't want that other crown to show. We want it to just be like we just have one crown. You feel me? So you want to wolf your crown out real long. When you get a haircut, tell your barber not to cut it. If you your own, if you self if you self cut, that's cool. That's even better because then you know you know exactly everything you want to go with. You know as far as the guard and all that. You know you don't gotta worry about nobody messing you up because you do your own stuff. You feel me? So once you figure that out, then you want to just comb you know your, your pattern or whatever. Once it's long enough, and you're going against, you know what I'm saying? I'll, I, you know what? Let me show y'all right now. YouTube so I just combed it out and everything with the grain against the grain I combed my crown out and all that Excuse me. got some hair on my on my mirror anyways uh so let me show y'all all right so my dominant crown is right here all right that's my dominant crown right here My other crown, my double crown, my other one was right here, as y'all saw in that other picture. But see how you cannot see it right now because my hair is long, right? Because I woofed it out. That's what you want to do. You want to woof your, your hair out, your crown out, really. Just your crown mainly when you're working on your crown. You want to woof it out long so that basically it won't be visible, the second crown. The other one that you you know trying to get rid of your dominant crown is going to be visible okay and this is for the people who want double who are trying to get rid of that double crown i'm gonna keep telling y'all that all right also um it could be for not just my 360 beehive waivers either it could be for swirl waivers too you know what I'm saying? so if you got to swirl this video it could be for you too you know what i'm saying you just got to figure out just how to swirl your crown that's it you know I'm not even telling you guys how to be happy. I'm just telling you guys that's the pattern that I'm going with. And this is how I got rid of the other crown. You know what I'm saying? So, y'all see the other crown right here. And I ain't that good brushing behind. You know, I'm just showing y'all like this, but y'all know I normally be brushing like this. You know, that's just me. I always brush like that. But for the sake of this video and for the sake of y'all vision and y'all angle, I do, I'm doing it like this for y'all. Okay? But I normally don't do it. All right. So, y'all see, all right. So a beehive crown is going to kind of look like a boss spot, even though it's not a boss spot, that's just your crown, all right? So don't be like, oh, it's a boss spot. Ooh, I got a boss spot. Nah, you don't, it's your crown. Your crown look like that, especially if you go on beehive. It's going to look like that. Now, if you go swirl, your crown is easier to curl, just to, to uh, close up because you're growing, you're, you're brushing, you're combing and you're brushing with the, um, your natural growth. So it's going to give it the illusion of an effect of it swirling and looking, you know, closed. But if you're going against your, you, you combing against it, you know, you're going, you're going, you're combing against your natural growth. So it's going to give you a, a you know, a ball spot kind of look like a little bit. That's just how a beehive look. All right, now I'm going with the grain. So you guys can see, it says you guys can see how I look right there. Cause my, my crown, my second crown is kind of still visible even though it's long. It's just, man, that's why it's hard for me. And it's harder, I'm telling y'all, man. If you got two crowns, it is going to be harder. But don't give up, cause we won't all get there. You know what I'm saying? Like, it takes time. See, y'all can see it now, you see? Second crown right there. It's like right there. But, it's not that visible to the point where, you know, it's gonna look bad or nothing. That's why my crown can only I only can close my crown to a certain to a certain extent because I have a double crown. 
You know, so if you guys be like, man, Poppy Blast, I want you to close it more. Being that I got a double crown, and you got a crown that's right next to another crown, let's get out of here. Then you got a crown that's right next to another crown. It's going to give that effect of kind of like of a boss, but it's going to make it bigger because it's right next to each other, two crowns. When a crown is already is like a boss boss, so you got two by each other, you're going to it's going to look like a boss boss. You feel me? Just keep it one hundred. It's going to look like one. So. That's why my crown is harder to close. You feel me? It's gonna be harder for you to close if you got a double crown. I'm just keeping it 100 with y'all. Y'all know, I ain't gonna, you know what I'm saying, make nothing up or nothing. So you know, that's what I'm here for, to help y'all, let y'all know, keep it real with y'all. So, that's what it is with the double crown, man. You pretty much just gotta woof that crown out, you know, so that it could, it could close up the other crown. It won't show as much. You feel me? And just go with your dominant crown. Whether if it's the left or the right. It don't matter. One crown might grow counterclockwise. The other crown might grow clockwise. One crown might grow clockwise. The other might grow the same way clockwise. Everybody's different. Everybody's born differently. You know, I didn't want to be born with two crowns. You feel me? To be honest, before I scalped, when I scalped like two years ago, and I found out I had a double crown, I never even knew I had a double crown. So mainly the ones who have a line in their crown, it's because y'all got a double crown. I'm gonna keep it 100 with y'all. Cause when I used to first started with my 360 waves, when I was a beginner and I used to have a line in my head. It's because I had two crowns and I didn't know that. So when I scalped and started over, I know I saw like I, I, I saw I was like, oh my god, do I see two crowns? Like it's growing. Oh, I was like, man, that was crazy. Like. I'm gonna pull, I'm, if I could see, if I could find another picture, I'm gonna try to find another picture for y'all I could show y'all when I first, first scalp and you, you can see it growing in. You know what I'm saying? I think it's in my other phone though. I don't know, I'll try to find it. If I could find it, then it should pop up. But yeah, man, that's pretty much it for this video. Just wanna let y'all know, man, don't give up if you got a double crown, man. Do not give up. It don't matter if you got a double crown. So what? You know, grow it out. Figure out which one you wanna grow, go with. Then kill the other crown. Kill it. Feel me? Death the other crown by growing it out. And then go to work on the other one. Your dominant crown to make it wave up. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to tell you now. If you got two crowns, it'll be easier if you go with the dominant crown. And it'll be easier if you swirl that dominant crown. It'll be easier to get rid of the other one. The other one won't be as visible as if you're going with a beehive. But if you're going with a beehive, it's going to be a little harder. Especially if you have a double crown. Just one crown beehive is harder. Imagine having two. So that's just what it is. I know a lot of y'all probably didn't know I had two crowns. Cause a lot of y'all knew. But a lot of y'all do got, do know that too. So yeah, that's just what it is, man. But I'm about to finish this comb session. And uh I'm about to get up out of here, man. But if you guys need some help, y'all already know what to do. Comment below. That's what I'm here for. I'm here to help y'all. You know what I'm saying? For the new people who tuned in right now, my name is Poppy Blasty, aka Rogue Guy. And I'm here to help y'all, man. So make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, man. Make sure you guys smash that like button, man. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram, man. That poppy underscore blasty. I see it right there in the corner, man. That link, that's the link to my Snapchat. That's the uh, the link to my, it's not even a link, but that's my official Snapchat name. My official IG name, poppy underscore blasty right there. Y'all see it in the corner? Right, right, left, I don't know. Anyways, man, you guys search me up. Follow me on those uh, social media websites. And yeah, man. You already know, man. I'm about to finish this session. But thank you guys for watching. And you already know, if you're great, they gon' hate. Yeah. Deuces. All right, YouTube. Thanks for watching this video. And I appreciate if you guys subscribe to my channel. As well as clicking the bell right here. Highlight it. That way you will get notified every time I drop a video. Thank you.